Why hello? Why hello, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be reacting. We're gonna, not reacting. We're going to be watching teens' reactions to their life sentences. I filmed this entire flipping video, and then I realized it didn't press record. So upset. So mad. So so freaking mad. But anyway, but that wasn't about. That was just a while ago. So I'm so mad. I need to move this on my face. Anyway. Anyway, let's get started. Scared of return. I agree with the family. I hope you die, die also in prison as well. I would give my life for Austin. I loved him a lot. I didn't mean to kill Austin. Actually, I really didn't. You think I did it? Fried rice. When you're a teenager, your life has barely began. You're still learning how to live your life. Well, imagine having the rest of your life torn away from you and spending the rest of your. I would f hate it so much life in a prison cell. Imagine your reaction to the moment that that judge takes away your life in the bang of a gavel. Well we're going to see what that is exactly like right now as we dive into 10 teens reacting to life sentences. This first reacting convict reaction. known as Nicholas Lindsay was actually too young to receive a life sentence when he was first handed into the police but upon his resentencing he was met with life behind bars. When the judge reads out this sentence Nicholas just sits there grinning showing zero lack of remorse for his crimes. His mother walks out and just says it is what it is. There is no indication that this type of violent behavior Salt will teams. stop. Criminal history and odds of rehabilitation must be considered before life without parole is imposed. The court has significant doubts about the defendant's potential for rehabilitation. It, his mom said little when it was over. It's what the judge ordered, so that's what it is. It is what it is. But Lindsay actually grinned when the judge read his ruling. The lack of remorse not lost on David Crawford. That's me! Crawford's daughter, Oh, I love Amanda. Apple Watch, guys. Justice was served, and... I'm glad it's over, and it just kind of proves to me that he's an animal as he sat there smiling. This next teen receives his sentence for starting a fire that killed an innocent teenager, a stupid mistake which cost an innocent life and ruined another. You could tell by the way this teen is reacting that he completely regrets his stupid decision and even starts praying as he cries. His mistake is one to learn from. It shows that there is something said significant Tell me in the comments, I don't know, I can't tell if he says it, but tell me in the comments if you hear how long his sentences are. I agree with the family, I hope you die in prison as well. Dylan Shoemaker is someone we've covered before, but this story is so intense that I thought I'd share it again. Dylan is being sentenced here for the murder of a sweet innocent baby. He killed his girlfriend's child and when the court day comes, he tries to plead that he didn't mean to kill the child despite the fact that the baby was beaten to death. His plot to win over the jury didn't work and he is serving his life sentence. In years to life. I can't take back what was dark. I wish I could. I would give my life for Austin. I loved him a lot. Austin Smith was completely defenseless. That's a, a, a given. But there were other dynamics at work there. Austin, I really didn't. I really think I did I didn't mean to hurt him. He was actually caught by the judge. Listen to this. This makes me mad. So mad. Judge 
for actually trying to text his mother saying that he hopes the jury will feel sorry for him and that he's going to cry on purpose to try and lower his sentence. That on July 23rd, 2013, in a phone call to your mother from the holding center, you stated, and I got a quote from the court reporter, I am a 16-year-old blonde. Probably all I have to do is cry in front of the jury and they're going to feel sorry for me. Philip Chime looks like an innocent high school student, but he is anything but that. He is. Tell me what you guys think. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm done. Actually, in court for murdering his teacher. Why would you do that? That's just dumb. I love my teachers. I love school. The teacher was. You can make fun of me all you want, but I love school. Actually, only 24 years old, which is extremely young for a teacher. Oh, she genius. was just starting her life up when it was taken away from her in a blink of an eye. Philip was sentenced to life, and here's his reaction. Mm, this one's not that good. Actually oh, this one's a bet. I love this one. Not this one. Years and not more than life. And that you stand committed in execution of this sentence. Jody Arias is the first female on this list. She was being sentenced for the murder of her ex-boyfriend. Her boyfriend was actually famous for saying these disturbing words to his friend. Don't be surprised if one of these Sundays I don't show up and you find me dead in some place. Well, that's exactly what happened uh. before she was sentenced to life in prison. She actually killed her ex-boyfriend just like he said she would. But I had to fight for my life just like I did on June 4th, 2008, because I realized how selfish it would be for me to escape accountability for this mess that I've created. I have two brothers, two sisters, several nieces and nephews, a mom, a dad, eight aunts, nine uncles. I want to say she just told you how much has family does. and community support. The defendant has mental health issues. The court has also considered the defendant's childhood background. The court finds the mitigation presented is not sufficiently substantial to call for leniency and that a natural life sentence is appropriate. It is ordered. The defendant shall be incarcerated in the Department of Corrections for the rest of her natural life with no possibility of parole. This teenager freaks out after he is sentenced. The defendant freaks out, cries in court and begs the officers not to take him away, showing that he at least has some sympathy for what he did. Year-old Fernando Salgado begs to get to go home. This next team was sentenced to life in prison after he and his girlfriend robbed and killed an elderly lady. The robbery apparently went wrong, and while trying to escape, the teen shot and killed the woman who was completely defenseless. The teen just sits and smiles as his life is being taken away from him. He's also seen actually falling asleep at one point during the sentencing. With a chuckle, a laugh, and yawn after yawn, David Moses acted strangely at his sentencing this morning, appearing to fall asleep in his chair not once, but twice, suffered physical, verbal, and emotional abuse growing up, leading to a lengthy criminal history, including sexually assaulting his sister, then a developmentally disabled cousin, and seven other children while he was in a group home. While Sessions' family said they hoped to one day see her again in heaven, Moses' attorney asked the judge for hope as well, in the form of a possibility for parole. To give him that hope for the next 25 years, uh, that he may have an opportunity to be returned to society. Instead, the judge sentenced Moses to life in prison without the possibility of parole. And that's in the penitentiary for the rest of his life. TJ Lane was convicted for killing three of his fellow high school students, which makes him a very young serial killer. He has absolutely no remorse for his crimes, and he was of course sentenced to life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. And when he was being sentenced, he wore a white t-shirt with the word killer painted across it, showing how sick... Okay, we're, we're... Um, not you. You have ruined your life, not to mention... I am so done with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and feature your post notifications. I know you know when I upload my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.